My name is Cody Groon. I'm a biology major at St. John's University. I'm interested in plants. Lately I'm interested in time-lapse photography. I make a variety of films ranging from flowers to uh, vegetative growth. Uh, anything that I find interesting really. I started it off as just a hobby. Uh, it quickly morphed into a sort of potential lifestyle, if you will. A third of it is being a botanist. You have to know what you want to film. A third of it is uh, being a photographer because you have to have a quality image or product that people enjoy watching. And then a third of it's being clairvoyant because you have no idea what these plants are going to do once you start filming. But the beauty of the time lapse is that it lends motion to the motionless. What we think of as immobile organisms and immobile creatures even uh, suddenly are given life, if you will, to people that would think that they don't have life. There was one time, it was a pointless film, I thought it was a waste. I, uh, I was trying to get a pea t tendril to swing around and grab hold of a rod to support itself. And I had two and a half minutes of this pea plant just struggling, time after time of swinging this tendril around, trying to find anything to grab hold of. Time lapse has become a big part of what I do, aside from research. It, it's a very time intensive. It's a, I've come to realize that after finishing a really large project that it's, it's a labor of love. I wanted to make a film that someone who's not like me could appreciate. A film that you know, the everyday person could, could enjoy, regardless of how much interest in botany uh, she or he had. After 306 days in one project alone, I put in over 530 hours of work to actually see a final product of that magnitude it was incredible. I went from doing very basic, primitive, if you will, films to very advanced, high quality films that some have said look as professional as things that they see on syndicated television programs. So. Time lapse is doable. You can actually create beautiful time lapse movies. It's something that can be done without real specialization in photography. So yes, get out and try it. It's the worst that happens is you have a failed attempt. <laughs> Just don't show that one in the films that you show to the public then. I, I learned that, you know, things come and go, but nothing is really the end of the world. <laughs> There'll always be more flowers. <laughs>